Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. I am working on my 2002 canning plan. And I have went through and done an inventory of everything that I have in my pantry from canning. And I am looking at what I need to make in 2002. Basically, this is what we usually use in a year, um, give or take. And I wanted to do it as what I would use in a year plan um, so that you could kind of look at it and see if that's something similar. Um, right now we are a family of three, but they are two teenage boys and me. So you could really use this plan as a family of four if you wanted to. Um, I am also though kind of transitioning from canning everything in quarts to canning in pints. So. You know, I'm looking at one of my children leaving the home soon and just being a family of two. One with a big appetite. But uh, this year, because of those factors, I am looking at canning turkey, 156 pints. Canning chicken, 156 pints. Ground beef, 104 pints. I want to do sausage this year. I don't have any right now, um, so... I want to do some canned sausage for like quick biscuits and gravy. So 52 pints canned pork, no, nothing else in it, 52 pints. If I were to get some venison, some more venison, I would like to can 26 pints. And I have been promised some salmon in the spring, so I'm hoping to do 52 pints. Um, I'm out of lard right now, so I'd like to do 26 pints. Veggies, green beans. I am completely out of green beans. I did what green beans I canned last year as dilly beans. So I need some green beans. Um, I want 100 pints. Carrots. If I were to do carrots, and I don't need to, but if I were to do carrots, I would want 52 pints. Tomatoes. I just wrote a lot. I want a lot. I am not canning potatoes. I don't know if I've told you this story or not, but I was given... A huge amount of potatoes a couple years ago and I will never have to can potatoes in the rest of my life um, if I were to can beets I put it here I don't can beets but I just recently discovered and that was because of you guys I made a video and I did pickled beets and I made them to give away and at Christmas we all tried my pickled beets I had made and oh my gosh, were they good. And so I will be doing more pickled beets for myself this year. We'll get to that in the pickles. And I'm considering maybe now that I know that I like beets now. So besides beets, I also want to have some canned beans on my shelf. Um, the two I use primarily are either pinto beans or kidney beans. So I want to do 26 pints of beans that I can use in chili. And then I want to do 26 pints of garbanzo beans. I use them a lot for lunches. And I also like to have the aquafaba for baking. And so I have uh, 26 pints of those. Last vegetable on my list is sweet potatoes. I'm all out of sweet potatoes. I've been eating a lot of them fresh. And I'd like to have a few cans on my shelf. So I was hoping to do um, something like 52 pints. Just to have a few. Just a few. So that number might be inordinately large for any other family, but we have been eating them, and by we I mean me, have been eating them quite a bit lately. Next in my list is bone broths and soups. Uh, on the bone broth category, a lot. Whatever I can get my hands on for bones, I'd like to do some, some broth. I went through a lot of that when I was sick. Um, mushroom beef soup, uh, 26 pints. Chicken soup starter, 104 pints. I use that for a lot of dishes. I, it's an ingredient in a lot of things I make. Beef stew, 52 pints. Venison chili, if I get some venison next year, I would like to do 26 pints of venison chili. I'm all out of chili. I may have to do it with beef. Ham and bean soup, my son loves that. I'd like to do 26 pints. And then beef barley soup, I love that that I did. I would like to do another 14 pints of that. And then 
we have the pickled foods um, asparagus 26 half pints of pickled asparagus is my goal we'll see green beans 26 of the dilly beans in pints bread and butter pickles 52 quarts because we'll eat the quarts uh, red onions pickled seven pints dill pickles 14 quarts probably more but we have a few pickles yet to eat so and then the pickled beets 14 pints and that is to share not just for us because we'll probably only eat a couple in a year um but i have requests <laughs> and then canned fruits we have applesauce 100 pints blackberry jam seven pints peaches Red currants, if I can get them from my farmer's market, I'd like to do seven pints of red currant jelly because it's no longer sold in my area. I want to do um, some more strawberry rhubarb pie. pie filling, at least 14 quarts. That's two canner loads, basically. And then the black forest pie filling, I want to do 14 quarts of that. I still have apple pie filling, and I still have pumpkin pie filling so I'm good there uh, juices I'd like to do a lot more cherry juice because of the health benefits I didn't put an amount just as much as possible cranberry juice 52 pints and I am almost to that goal I'm doing quite well with that I've gotten it on sale and been putting it away right now now here in December and January is when to get the cranberries and get them in um, apple juice or cider 52 pints I'd like to do another 52 pints of milk that gives me one a week to cook with uh, elderberry syrup I'd like to do 14 pints I did not have good luck getting elderberries last year and then violet syrup we're out of violet syrup I'd like to do 14 pints of that and then in the miscellaneous category mushrooms I'd like a hundred pints I'd like at least 52 pints of the veggie broth I make on my shelf I am all out except for the two I just made. I want to do some canned cream cheese. Of course, another 52 pints of salsa. I'd like to do another small batch of cowboy candy. And I'd like to do some coleslaw and pints. I have in quarts, but I'd like to do seven pints and do some coleslaw. And there you have it, Rebel Canners. That is my canning plan. We'll see how it pans out throughout the year in 2022. But that is my plan for 2022. And I hope that helps that I'm sharing that with you. Have a great day.